Hello viewers, I am Maitli. Today we are going to see 11 CBSC Max Straight Lines Miscellaneous Exercise Question number 2. Let's see the question. Find the value of theta and p if the equation x cos theta plus y sin theta equal to p is the normal form of the line root 3x plus y plus 2 equal to 0. So this equation normal form is given. So we need to turn this equation to this to find the theta and the p value. So always take the constant term to this side so root 3x plus y is equal to minus 2 now remember that a p value cannot be in negative so i need to change the sign of this because this is the length formula l is not, p is nothing but the length of the perpendicular length of length cannot be in negative so change the sign of everything it becomes root 3x minus y is equal to minus of minus will become plus 2 now we have changed the sign always take the we need to divide it by the coefficient of x square plus y square so find the coefficient dividing by root of a square plus b square that is nothing but here it becomes let me write the a square plus b square for this becomes a root 3 square plus 1 square minus minus will become plus so I have taken the sign so this becomes 3 plus 1 root 4 equal to 2 now the value of thing is 2 we need to divide by this so it becomes minus root 3 by 2 into x minus y by 2 is equal to 2 by 2 here we can cancel it becomes 1 here root 3 by 2x minus 1 by 2y is equal to 1 instead of root 3 by 2 we can write this to be here it should be x into cos theta so x into cos theta cos theta value for root 3 by 2 is cos 30 minus this becomes y into sin 30 equal to 1 it cannot be in negative because cos 30 value so we need to convert this cos 30 as we need to convert this to be x cos alpha plus y sin alpha equal to 1. Now cos 30 and minus of sin 30. So if both are in negative, you see x value is negative and y value is negative. That means it lies in the, both negative lies in the negative negative, lies in the third quadrant. So both negative value lies in the third quadrant in the third quadrant we can write 180 plus theta here it is 180 so 180 plus theta instead of 30 we can write it to be 180 plus theta theta value here is 30 so x cos 180 plus 30 plus we are changing the sign because we have taken the minus sign as 180 plus theta so sign 180 plus theta equal to 1 now this becomes x cos 210 plus y sin 210 equal to 1. So, your instead of theta, we have theta value to be 210 and p value. This is your p value, p value equal to 1. This is your final answer for the sum. That's all with the sum. Thank you.